the Mikui. Our collective enemy is the greedy man who bought the whole nurse's house at Falomo. The Falomo shopping complex, the Lagos State Polytechnic property at Dojota, the stretches of acres at Lekki, the old Strava yard in Alausa, the innumerable beachfront properties long owned by the people of Lagos State, the billion naira Queen's Drive mansion, the illegal Lekki toll gate, the First Station airline, the strings of media conglomerates, the vault and garden symmetry, even the symmetry. <laughs> the vast estates of the shores of Oniru Beach, the endless choice of choice hotels and high rises, the shopping mall in Ikeja and Leki, and many great assets of our people. This Iraqi man has stolen with manic desperation. This is the real enemy we must chase back to Iraqi. With all this crazy and bewildering acquisition, it is obvious that this Iraqi obstacle suffers from a disease called influenza. It is an incurable malady which makes the pathetic sufferer to pursue a blind, greedy, desperate, and infectious craving for acquisition after acquisition. Here, the demented sufferer can never stop the craving for necessary endless accumulation, accumulation of wealth. He does not know what is enough. Here, wealth is glorified in the place of the Almighty God. This is the dreadful disease Amodou Gundele Shogodele Aliasinungu is suffering from. Let the good be, the real Omolua deeds, work with our genuine God fearing leaders for our total victory in the South. Let us remove and dismantle the greedy contraption of Kola Tinubu from Lagos and the whole of the South before the madness of Iraq Bijima corrupts the whole nation. We will never surrender nor compromise with those who are selling off our heritage. We will fight them in the trenches, we will fight them in the daylight and in the shadows to retrieve our stolen commonwealth. We will work at home and in the frontiers for the survival <coughs> and progress of our people.